that we've got the uh, impeller off of the bearing assembly, I can show you how to remove the seal in a little trick to install the new one. So we remove the spring and the little impeller washer. You can throw that away. Take a small screwdriver and just pry up on the seal and a little ring, you can throw that away. Of course, again, I'm cheating because I get to use a brand new bearing assembly. Just pry it right off the shaft sleeve. You can throw all these parts away. Sometimes you can tip over the bearing assembly and uh, knock the ceramic seal part out. Sometimes it'll stay where it is. Just a little screwdriver and pry gently. And off the shaft it comes. Now in the bottom or the cover plate part of the bearing assembly here, there's a little rubber gasket. Yours is probably going to be hard and stuck to the cover plate, so you have to clean this cavity out good. So when you put the new one in, it'll sit good and flush down inside there. Now once you get to this point, what you want to do is you want to inspect this brass sleeve right here. If it's got any pitting or grooving or anything like that, you'll have to change the bearing assembly because a seal kit change won't work. If it's a little dirty or just a little bit of a, a scuff on it, you can clean it up with emery cloth and then you can install your new seal kit. Now here's the little trick. Inside the cavity where the seal kit goes, there's a ring with two dimples in it. If that's in good shape, when you go to change the seal, I suggest that you leave that in place because they're pressed in place and you get one with the new seal kit, but they're kind of hard to put in. And if you ding it when you put it in, you have to buy a whole new seal kit. So I'm going to leave mine in, obviously, because it looks good. And now I'll start to install, install the seal kit. All right, now that I've got the bearing assembly ready for the new seal kit, this is the little package that it comes in. Just dump them out and give them a little bit of an inspection to make sure nothing's cracked or anything's out of place or anything's missing. Okay, now that I've got the uh, seal kit kind of separated out on the table here, I'll just show you that little brass retainer with the dimples in it that I'm not going to install because this one's still in good shape. I wouldn't throw it away, I'd save it. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to take the black washer from the seal kit and put it down in the cavity. Make sure it's good and set in place, nice and flush on the bottom. Next thing you want to do is you want to insert the white ceramic. Now if you notice on the white ceramic, it's shiny on one side and it's got grooves on the other. The groove side goes down against the gasket. Make sure that the flat sides of the ceramic sit between the two dimples. That keeps it from spinning. Okay, now that we've got those parts in place, we'll put the uh, carbon side on. This is where you want to use a little bit of liquid soap. What you want to do is you want to put some liquid soap on the top side of this brass sleeve. Don't use grease or anything, any type of petroleum product. It's not suggested by Bell and Gossett. And you take the little carbon side and you put some right here. I like to take the bearing assembly and tip it sideways a little bit just to make sure that the carbon stays in this little boot over the shaft and straight down so it meets the white ceramic. All right, now that I've got it seated down onto the white ceramic, you can just grab a towel and wipe off the extra soap. 
All right, now the seal's in place, so we're ready to put the impeller on. Spring first, then a little brass washer for the impeller, and then your impeller. Okay, now that I've got the impeller set into place, it's ready to be pushed down onto the shaft. Grab it firm and give it a good squeeze. And you can feel it bottom out. Then you're ready for your lock washer and your acorn nut. Then you can take your socket and hand tighten it. Once you get it hand tightened, you can let go and just give it a snug with your ratchet. Nothing tight, just a snug. Grab the impeller, give it a twist. You're ready to put the pump back together.